There we go, guys. Uh, we're gonna keep pouring. This is gonna make some pico. Only come with the. This is distilled vinegar, almost a uh, jug. But we'll see. I think that's all I need. Then we're gonna put. I'm just gonna put the black pepper. Black peppercorn. I'm gonna put the whole thing here. The whole bar, the whole uh, bottle of this, the whole package. I mean, then we're gonna get. I, I always do eyeball to eyeball, guys. Two tablespoon. One, two, three. I make, decided to make three because I put a lot of vinegar. So we're gonna bring that to a boil. Okay. And we are going to peel some garlic. You can also add whatever flavor you want in there. But me, I just want this. This is distilled vinegar. Right here, guys. Distilled white vinegar. I use that also to wash my vegetables. So, okay. Here you go. Four tablespoons of sugar. Okay, so the sweetness to your... Uh, we're gonna bring that to a boil. See, the three ingredients we put there. We have the vinegar, paper corn, and sugar and salt. And that's four. <laughs> okay. And then garlic. So five ingredients then. Vinegar, uh, black pepper corn, and then sugar and salt. So five flavor with the garlic in the end, okay? We're gonna put the fresh garlic. Okay, we're gonna just let that settle and let it boil. Okay, and while we're preparing our pickle. Our cucumber. There's all our all cucumber here. I have, I bought a box, but my neighbor is gonna make some pickles herself, so I give her half of my pickle here. So we're gonna peel just ha a little bit, not the whole thing, so I still have the, the, <clears throat> the, what do you call it? The skin. I'm gonna wash that thoroughly. Just like that. Not all the way. We like the crunch of the skin still. Here we go, we have this uh, jar, this is the large one. I'm 
going to size that with this so it would be right this size here because we're gonna cut also round and also we're gonna cut uh what do you call that honey spears spears <laughs> see this one here we're gonna do like this either thick or thin it's okay size right here so we cut two different sizes either round and spears so we're just gonna keep continuing cutting some of this and size it to the jar i usually just size it you know just what kind what big how big this jar is and everything sort of like just you go from it it's no kimi kimi you just make whatsoever there's no size preference or anything like that so i sort of just fit whatever i can in the jar as i as much as i can because i have i have a lot of cooking bear so i'm trying to fit it all in the jars i have a lot of big jars though so there's no worry about that so i collect them through the years because usually i make a lot of pickles i might make some for philippines we'll see i'm not sure if they like pickle out there but it's so good with the sandwiches or whatever if you eat fried fish this pickle is so perfect with it because the sourness to it and the sweetness a little bit you can make it more sweeter sweeter than this that i make because this one i only put like two to three tablespoons of sugar but i have a lot of uh i don't know how many quart of of vinegar i put i just uh eyeball to eyeball i usually did eyeball to eyeball on well, I'll get this prepared cut to perfection <laughs> my own way. We have boiling vinegar here and salt and the black pepper. Now we're going to put that first around one. You could do better though. You can arrange them inside me. I just shove it in the jar like that, sort of. Here goes our vinegar is from the boil to the jar there's no preference when or as long as it's still hot so it sort of make your uh, make your mixture better in a way and it'll cook just a little bit of that um, pickle that's why you can see the pickle a little bit um, not mushy but still very crunchy because it's not boiled cook it's just the the heat of the vinegar is just right for the pickle either after boiling you can just put it right after and then you put the lid it can call it itself so it really blend that together inside of the jar with all that vinegar mixture you have so i don't know i just no preference for anything i just eyeball to eyeball with everything really making pickle is easy as this and uh, you can make uh, whatever flavor you want whatsoever you can make it your own recipe from here you know i'll show you this guys after a week see you then pickle guys the one i made a week ago look at the color how beautiful they are now look at that so we're gonna try that gonna taste it for the first time so this is a week old pickle okay the one we made last time just right there in front of my glass window in the kitchen so they mature a little bit before we put it in the fridge.